You probably think just like I did when I wasn't a millionaire, that all millionaires have mansions and Lambos and a different watch for every day of the month. While a few do, the vast majority do not and it's just another money lie that we've all been told and believe. But just because I don't fall into the lie doesn't mean that I don't have some pretty unusual purchases given my situation. So let's discuss some absolutely ridiculous things I buy as a millionaire and they're ridiculous for different reasons so we'll talk about that too. They may not make sense at first, but they'll make sense in the end and actually show you how you go on the journey to becoming a millionaire and what benefits are actually when you get to being a millionaire. Because I believe everybody can be a millionaire and have financial freedom despite all the lies you've been told. So make sure you're subscribed because they don't want you to know this information, guys. And I want you to be completely free from all this mess that's out there. So the first ridiculous thing I buy as a millionaire is cheap used cars. I hear you right now. What's the point in having all this money if you're not going to actually spend it and enjoy it? And don't worry, we'll get the things that I splurge on here in just a second. It's coming. But a car means absolutely nothing to me. And more importantly, somebody who's trying to prove that they're wealthy through their car probably isn't wealthy in the end. And more importantly, have you seen how people drive? People don't know how to drive anymore. It's worse, way, way worse after we had the whole shutdown and everything than it was before. I don't wanna be sitting in a half million dollar car with all those people driving around me crazy. I don't wanna have to deal with all the attention that comes with that. And more importantly, it literally means nothing to me and I get no value out of it. I take that money and I buy assets and said that actually pay me so I can enjoy the most important part of being a millionaire and that is the freedom that it gives me. And that is something a car can't give you and it is far better than any car can give you. Number two is quality food. Look, I know, well, especially if you're younger and you're watching this, it may not be as important, but once you kind of get to my age and especially some of you older folks out there, health is very, very, very important. And unfortunately, the US food source is just complete trash. We allow things that just aren't allowed anywhere else in the world in our food supply and in a lot of other things that we actually consume and put in our bodies. Trust me, the first time I went overseas and I saw a banana that was like half the size of an American banana and then I bought it and then it went you know, bad like two days later, I didn't understand what the heck was going on there. I thought we had the better bananas over here and they had it wrong, but it's actually completely in reverse. That's actually how fruit is supposed to be, not how it is over here. Now I understand food is already expensive and this is extremely hard to do and I didn't start off that way either, especially when I was younger, I just ate trash, didn't care. I just wanted the cheapest thing possible on my journey to becoming a millionaire. But once I started having the money to do it, I did one a year basically. So start off, I changed out my fruits and my vegetables first. And then the following year I changed out my meats. And then the following year I changed out a lot of other things in my diet as well. My wealth grew each year. And with each year, I also improved my health as well. And especially improved the food that I consumed. Number three, quality clothing. Now I'm not talking about a $200 t-shirt here where you're just overpaying for a name or a brand or whatever the case is. I'm talking about basically getting off the Hanes special and moving up to kind of that mid tier there where you pay a little bit more or maybe a lot more than the Hanes special, but you get a much better quality. And in terms of time, you got to buy the Hanes every other year or so. These will last you five, 10 years, sometimes for the rest of your life, depending upon the brand. Not only are they better quality and they feel better, they typically last longer too. And in a lot of cases, the quality is just so much better in terms of uh, you know longevity, ripping, tearing, things of that nature. They have paid off more than if I would have bought the cheap stuff in the first place. Now, I personally, a lot of times you guys see Alpha Elite sweatshirt here. This one was given to me, uh, but I routinely buy Cuts clothing. They have the right cut for my body, my fit. They're wrinkle free. I travel a lot. So therefore they just come right out of the suitcase, kind of snap them a couple of times, hang them up and they're good to go. And I look great. And the wear and tear and the last on them is incredible. No, I'm not sponsored. Cuts, if you're listening, hey, I got another channel that's got 100,000 subscribers. Love to be a sponsor. But I'm not sponsored. I just enjoy the clothing. And I found that if I buy a handful of quality pieces instead of a lot of crappy pieces, they last for a long time. I feel better. I look better. And more importantly, they last. And so in the end, I end up spending a lot less money on clothing than somebody who constantly buys the cheap stuff. Number four is an income producing home. Now look, I know this one kicks up a lot of controversy, so hear me all the way through. I could go out right now and buy a $5 million home or whatever the case is. I could buy pretty much whatever I wanted, but that's not the point. I started house hacking a long time ago and you get really used to not having a mortgage anymore and somebody else paying your mortgage for you. 
and I've managed to use the house hacking method to actually house hack into a million dollar house in the end. So I still managed to get there, but I'm using the house hacking method to where somebody else is paying that bill for me. That's what I mean by buying an income producing house. I could live anywhere I wanted. I could do whatever I wanted. I could buy pretty much whatever I wanted here in this area, but I choose not to because I just understand money and I understand that my journey to millionaire, that's what got me there. That's what provides me that security and why burn all that money every month, every year, when I could invest that money elsewhere and continue to grow my asset base while still living in a great home in a great area and let my tenants pay the bills in the end instead of myself. And the fifth ridiculous thing I buy is cereal for breakfast. That's right. I eat cereal every single morning for breakfast. Even when I'm on the road, I try to buy milk and the cereal for on the road. I like to get up really early in the morning and I like to work really early in the morning. But of course, I'm hungry in the morning like most people are. And I don't want to get out and have to get breakfast and all those other things like that that just take away from that time while I'm actually working and actually getting things accomplished. And so I eat Kashi brand cereal there. They tend to be high in protein. Fair life milk is what I use. Again, high in protein. And it's just, I don't know, it's one of those things. That's what I eat. Sure, sometimes it's Magic Spoon, but that stuff's like eight bucks on sale for box, whatever the case is. So it's a bit expensive for my taste, regardless of what, um, you know, whether I could afford it or not. It's not necessarily relevant. So I don't have that one often. But nonetheless, it's one of those ridiculous things. That's what I buy and that's what I eat for breakfast every morning. But I hear you now. What about indulgences? You said you actually indulged some earlier, Luke. What do you actually indulge in if you're not going to indulge in a lot of other things? Well, one, I think the things we've just talked about, a lot of those are indulgences compared to where I came from, um, you know, basically from nothing to where we are now. But I see what you're saying. And I have to tell you, the last one is Air Jordans, but with a caveat. Those were the shoes of my youth. If you're right around my age, everybody wanted Jordans. Heck, people were, you know, you know, shooting people for Jordans back in the day. That's how crazy the demand was for those. Now, I only got one pair my entire life. Didn't even realize they were doing these retro pairs until a little while ago. And so they've been wonderful. They've been my indulgence. But even then, I still don't indulge fully. I don't just go buy whatever the heck I want, regardless of if I can buy any of the Jordans that are out there that I wanted. I instead buy the ones that don't have a box per se. It's a new pair. There's nothing wrong with them. They just don't come with a box and I wear them. I'm going to rock them. I don't care that I'm an old guy wearing them. I'm going to put them on my feet and I'm going to wear them because I didn't get that opportunity when I was a kid to do the same exact thing. So I'm going to do it right now. So that's kind of something that I indulge in. I don't do it often. Maybe, maybe once a year and I kind of put it out there as something that I do when I hit a goal. So if I hit a personal goal, or a company goal, um, whatever the case is, whatever goal I choose to put out there, that's kind of something that I use to kind of incentivize myself. I'm not gonna do it until I get there and I hit that goal. May seem ridiculous, I'm sorry, but that's the truth and that's exactly what I do. And the good news is this channel is about alternative routes to retirement and financial freedom and becoming a millionaire. They want you working forever and I want you to be completely free from this mess. So make sure you're subscribed because I understand it's blacklisted in society, but it's something I absolutely want you to understand and know because they don't want you to know it. They want you working forever. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.